I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time, and I've always enjoyed popping open packs and testing my luck. I've spent years buying and selling cards and building a collection, but now we throw all of that away. This series embodies the ride, as nothing beats pulling your chase card or some overly expensive card that everybody wants. We have $50 to do three things. Crack packs, play games, and build a collection. Welcome to Feral Fangs. Welcome back to episode 2 of Feral Fangs. Hopefully this time around we can actually start moving towards a playable Tri-Brigade deck. As I said last time, we need to get a bit more consistency because right now our deck may as well be Little Timmy's deck from elementary school. Speaking of which, you guys should have seen my awesome Ancient Gear FTK from like 4th grade. If, if I could replicate it, I would, but one time I got Magic Cylindered, so yeah, yeah I don't do that anymore. So even though we got some really, really insane pulls, we need to go back to the basics. We have absolutely no targets for Nerval to search. Zeus is a degenerate card that can come out super easily and pretty much with any XCs, but since we have no consistency when it comes to Tri-Brigades and Lyralusks, how are we going to bring it out? We need to pull Keras eventually, and especially Fractal and Fair G. We already got Shireg, and there's no other secrets that we need, though uh, Alpha, the Master, V, Zoo King, Alpha, whatever you want to call it and Tri-Brigade Airborne Assault are definitely playable secret rare cards. Preferably though, I would rather just get like two dual avatar invitations if it means that I get one Fractal and one Fair G. We also got the Cybers Link Structure decks, which will change the deck a lot. You know those episodes like episode 10 for the Charmers where we just completely change the deck and how it functions in its entirety? Yeah, that's gonna happen for us for like four episodes straight. As for what's in the deck and the changes we'll make, I'll go over that when we actually open the structure decks and the packs. There's not much to say except we really need to like fix it. It's really bad. It's really funny, but I would prefer to win some games. One other kind of important thing. Someone informed me, a certain someone, you could go back to the last video and check, that I forgot about the ruling that monsters have to be summoned properly before being summoned from the graveyard, which would have meant that I wouldn't have won my only one match last time, though I wouldn't have necessarily lost either so I'm not going to count it as a win or a loss. For the future, if we decide to show our overall win-loss record, I'll remove that win, and we'll have a rematch with Chu at some point in the future, whether this episode or the next. But either way, let's open the structure decks and let's open some packs and make some fucking bomb-ass changes. I mean, normally we just drop like a bunch of packs or like a box or something in front of the camera, but this time, you guys already know that I got the three Cyberslink structure decks. I'm just kidding, we still get a bunch of packs. You know, I, got, I gotta feed my gambling addiction. I'll explain how we got all these packs in a little bit. But first, we're gonna go through this, because this is actually a huge change to our deck. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pop open one of these boxes and explain like the cards that are actually gonna go into the deck and some cards that'll be in consideration. I mean, look at that, we have a, the deck list right here and a game mat. Also, if I read this properly, I probably would have... Uh, I would, have, I would have probably not messed up on the match we had last episode. What's even better is uh, when it comes to this, when I got this package from USPS, by the way, I was complaining about USPS last time because I just was not getting this. It took them... I live in Brooklyn. I ordered this from the Bronx. To get from the Bronx to Brooklyn, it took them, what, like, I think a week and a half, by the way. Whoever plays Duel Links, there's your little shout out that's going straight in the garbage. Now the thing is, there are actually some Link monsters in here that are pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna skip past like the stuff that's kind of a maybe, and I'll explain that stuff later. Because some of these, some of these cards are pretty good, but we're only looking for a few very specific ones. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be better to just <laughs> decide later or show you guys later the cards that I'm taking out of here. But I'll show you the two main cards we got this for. That would be this right here, Jester Confit, a free special summon from the hand. Global is in consideration, but King Cub Yo is the main card, and this is going to be really good, and this is what I've been waiting for. But you know what, aside from that, we get Mind Control, which we could play, Cosmic Cyclone's really good, Where Arf That was playable, and there's the last card I was looking for, D Barrier. I mean, we went through the structure deck, I'm going to I'm gonna pop open the other two boxes and just set them aside for now. I should probably also bring up that these three structure decks costed us a grand total of $26. I think the eBay seller does like $10 if you're getting one or $9 if you get two, or like eight something if you're getting three, and obviously we need a three anyway, so there's our pile of cards that we gotta look through later to, to build our deck. Now it's time to explain this. So in the last episode of Restart Charming, <laughs> Charming, I don't know, 
In the last episode of Charming Magic, we actually got um, footage from a remote duel tournament. Did you think you don't get anything for signing up to remote duel locals? You still get packs. Now the goal is to... I, I'll tell you right now, the only card in here that's like actually useful is Dogmatica Punishment, which... Barricade Borg Blocker. I don't know. We're, we're getting a lot of cards that we have to look through later to see if we could play any of them. I wasn't originally going to put this into the video because technically this is from last season, but nothing wrong with that. Um, Melky Mommy. So yeah, these, I mean, Barricade Borg Blocker is playable. Now this, this is where it comes down to a little bit of explaining. About half a year ago, during Black Friday, my locals was running a special $50 for a box. And obviously I was like, hey, let's invest a little bit. I, I call it investing, but in reality, I, I just thought to myself, you know what, I'm probably going to hold it for a little while and then maybe, I don't know why it was so hard for me to open this, and then maybe uh, I'll sell it, which, yeah, I guess it's investing, but it was one box. I don't even want to call it investing. Oh my god. Ugh. I mean, alright. And because it was $50, we get 14 of those packs, splitting it up evenly. The only issue right now is that we need... A few very specific... No. No, 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 Come on, man. I want more cards that we could actually play in the deck. I'm not gonna run a second Zeus. Like, obviously a second Zeus would not be that bad, but I want... I want Fractal, I want Ferrajeet, I want... Other good stuff, come on. Virtual World Hime and Yan Yan. Come on, I think we've gotten every super... We've gotten two Zeuses before we got Fractal. Or not even Fractal, uh, Keras. Infernoble Knights, whatever. I genuinely think that the only changes that are going to come to the deck today are going to be from the structure deck. But next episode, we're going to have a lot of packs to open. Come on, give me something good. Mutant Arsenal, another one. Are you serious? Like... <laughs> What? What am I supposed to do with this? I'm I'm angry that my pulls are too good. Because I'm not getting the bad pulls that I want to get. Tri-Brigade. Oh, it's Infernity Conjurer. Please be a Fractal or a Ferrajeet. Karis. Okay, okay. We finally have a second Tri-Brigade monster for the main deck. Oh my god. Can I get more Karis? Can I get a Fractal? Can I get a Ferrajeet? Can I get something good? Come on! <laughs> uh, I mean, that's something we could sell. Everything else here, not worth anything. We got the best secret in the set twice. And we got one of the best ultras in the set. But we did not get a second Karis yet. Oh my god. UA locker room. I mean, since this is 14 packs, there's a good chance that we might get an ultra rare. Uh, a second ultra rare. But there's an even better chance that we don't. Yo, these are more cards to cut into pieces. Okay, we have four packs left. Um, there's a small chance at one of them being an Ultra. And that's what we're looking for right now. But... Juju. I would gladly not take any Ultras if it meant I can get another Keras or a Frac... Well, I mean Fractal is an Ultra. Oh, ooh, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> we got my favorite card in the set, Tri-Brigade Ferragy. Um, if you're asking why she's my favorite card in the set, I mean, take a closer look. <laughs> oh, man. Very happy. Very happy. Um, as much as I really want a Fractal, I'm glad that we got a Ferragy. So... I mean, I don't think we get anything else at this point. Mutant Mist. Uh, this is our last pack. I mean, we got three Ultra Rares, is it? So I don't think we can get any more. Mutant Cry, UA Man of the Match, Geonator Transversor, and La La. Oh, okay. As much as I wish we actually got more than just these two in terms of uh, cards that we can run in the deck, these are going to be very good to sell. <laughs> and we did get the Structure Decks, which are going to be a lot of help. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of help. <laughs> um I'm gonna work on the deck. Let's let's make it let's make it a bit more viable right now. One quick thing that I just want to bring up to interject here. 
Uh, if you guys watch my other videos, you guys may have seen that I opened a prismatic god box and I got these beautiful obelisk sleeves, or I guess just the blue sleeves that you get from the obelisk box. Would you guys prefer that I sleeve the deck, or not the deck, but the extra deck in this? Or would you just prefer the regular sleeves that I've been using, which is these dragon shield, ivory, Japanese sized? Either way, they're still going to be in the uh, standard size sleeve as well just to make sure that they don't get damaged. But yeah, just let me know in the comments, because these are like 30, 40 bucks, and if, if people think that these are ugly, then I'm not gonna use them, and I'd rather just sell them. Okay, so instead of talking about changes, since there were just so many of them, honestly, pretty much half the deck is uh, taken out. Uh, we took out the UA engine, we took out the mutant engine, and at this point, we're just gonna go over what is in the deck instead of what we took out. So obviously for the extra deck, it's for the most part the same. The only things that we've really changed are we put in the Trigate Wizard. This is a pretty generic card and I just thought we could have it just in case. It probably won't come up, but it was better than the uh, card that I thought we could run. And then we've put in our one Farajit. Hopefully we could get a second one of these, but even just getting one will help so much. If we're just able to make this, that is going to be such a huge change to the deck. To the deck. To the, to the deck. To the deck. Uh, we're not putting in the second Zeus. We could, but I don't want to. I'm going to make one quick interjection here to say that we're probably still going to play Zeus for this episode. He's obviously not going to stay. It doesn't make sense for us to run two Zeuses. But while we have to, I'm just going to put the second one in place of Penguin Brave. And we'll still sell it after this episode and use the funds for the next episode. Cool? Cool. I mean, we could drop the Penguin Brave, but at this point I would rather just... <laughs> sell the Zeus and use it as more currency for the next uh, episode. As well as we've got kind of a side deck that's starting up here with triple Cosmic Cyclone, triple DDR in case we're just up against a deck that banishes a lot, and then triple Dimensional Barrier. I just personally really like Dimensional Barrier, but now we go on to the main deck. We're gonna go pretty much engine at a time, triple Nerval along with our one Keras. I wish we had more of these, but for now we have one. Double Cobalt Sparrow. One Turquoise Warbler, one Sapphire Swallow. We're still running the double Cataroose because it's still an easy way to make Zeus. Along with triple Kinkavyo, triple Jester Confit. At this point, it's, just, it's kind of a rank one slash link spam deck, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Then we've got our one ofs, DD Crow, Link in for Flyer, Barrier Statue, Mahama. Dogmatica Ashian and Glow Up Bolt. I don't remember every card that's on the ban list, okay? Just pretend that I said Dotscaper instead of Glow Up Bulb. It's really sad how Mahama and... Aside from Crow, Mahama is the closest thing we have to a hand trap. Spells. We're keeping the Dogmaticism because with uh, Brygrand, I feel like it just makes sense to keep it. And I mean, we could use a Tri Brigade effect to Link Summon. Triple Where Arf Thou. We're running a lot of level 1s, so we might as well. Keeping the double Xyz import, keeping the one Tri Brigade standoff, and we're putting in one copy of Mind Control. Obviously, we can only run one. If we could run more, we would. Then we've got our traps: double Tri Brigade Revolt, double Tri Brigade Oath, and then triple Storming Mirror Force. If you're asking why I'm playing this, it's because I, I base my entire deck around being able to out Dragoo. And then we're still keeping the one copy of Fuse Line. Uh, we could have kept Broken Line, but I think I'd rather have a pop anywhere in the column than a negate anywhere in the column. I mean, in just one episode, the deck is just far, 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 far better. If I could say anything, it's that I just wish we were able to pull Fractal more, but in exchange, we have more currency for the next episode. I don't know if this Phantom Knights card is worth anything. I guess you guys will probably know. I don't know right now. But if we sell the Lulu and the Sky Thunder, the, the Zeus, nobody calls it Sky Thunder, we'll have a lot more budget going into the next episode. Well, I want to try this deck out, so I'm going to go playtest. Prepare yourselves for the most boring battle of your lives. Boneless Tri Brigade is up against Brick Eyes here. In this game, we start by normal summoning Barrier Statue and setting Xyz Import. This leads to absolutely nothing for a couple of turns, but eventually we're able to make some more then attempting to make Farajit and Karas, which both get negated. With that, we just make Rugal so we can bring out Ashian, securing the game very quickly. Game 2, our opponent uses Mausoleum to bring out Maiden and a Link Rebo, with a Blue Eyes and Grey. On our turn, we summon Jester Confid and our opponent brings out Blue Eyes using Call of the Haunted. 
We use Where Arf Thou to get Sapphire Swallow, then make Recital Starling to add Nerval to our hand. Dotscaper comes back out and Sapphire Swallow and Cobalt Sparrow come out to get us DD Crow to hand. We then make Charade to banish Blue Eyes and get Karis to bring out some Org. We clear the board aside from Maiden and make Barrier Statue. Our opponent Tribute summons Blue Eyes like an absolute mad lad, which we banish with Charade off the Samorg summon. On our next turn, we just make a Link 4 Appalooza and get the OTK. Yo, you drew 5 before we even rolled. I'll just throw them back in and shuffle if you want me to. Does not matter, because I'm gonna win the dice roll. 9. Uh, 11. Uh, I'll go first. Sure. Activate Live Twin Home. Sure. Discard back of Secretary. Okay. Uh, special blue. Sure. Special pink. Special summon backup secretary. Yep. Tribute two. End phase. Go. I'm going to set special summon Lyralisk Turquoise Warbler. Yep. Set. Um, activates. Oh, this is so bad. Normal summon. Zodiac Cataroost. Equip it with Dogmaticism. Enter battle. Die into secretary. I take 500. Okay. Activate Dogmaticism. Yeah. Dumping Entus? No. <laughs> you think I have an Entus? No. <laughs> Send a um, Brygrand set. Uh, end phase Brygrand. Add Nerval. Draw? Yep. Set one? Yep. Special backup? Yep. Normal dragon. Okay. Battle phase. Okay. In with secretary. Um, storming mirror force. <laughs> Yippee. All back to your hand. Ha ha. <laughs> yep. Your turn. So I'm dead. Draw. Nah, I don't think I can OTK her. I don't think I can kill you next turn. I'm gonna normal summon Nerval. Judgment the Nerval and hope you can't kill me. Pass turn. Draw. Normal summon backup secretary? Special summon backup secretary? <laughs> yeah! You're not wrong. Okay. Battle phase? That's fine. 20, uh, backup secretary into phase? 1200? Yep. Main phase 2? Yep. Phoenix? That is perfectly fine. Discarding dragon? Closest to the deck. Sure. Axie's import hits the grave. Set one? Yep. Pass. Draw. I'll set. Pass. Draw. Set one. Yep. Battle phase. Yep. Nineteen hundred. End phase. Yep. Draw. Yep. Wow. Oh. I'll uh, I'll pass turn. Draw. Flip. Hedgehog. Add. Fusion. Activate fusion. Yep. Windy and hedgehog. Winda. Yep. Battle phase. Mhm. Mm Winda and phoenix. Uh, storming mirror force. <laughs> God fuck. Uh, your turn. Draw. Set and pass. Draw. Set one. Pass. Special summon Jester Confit. Flip Schism. That is fine. Banish Windy and Hedgehog. Yep. Winda. Normal summon Lyra Lusk Sapphire Swallow. Uh, okay. Recital Starling. Activate Recital Starling. Sure. Uh, add Nerval to my hand. I will pass turn there. Draw. Oh, why is my graveyard face down? I don't know. <laughs> Activate Schism. Sure. Construct. Battle phase. Mm-hmm. Winda into your exceeds. Sure. We both take, uh... You said Winda. Er, oh, I meant Construct, my bad. Winda into your face town. That's fine. Your turn, I guess. Draw. Set one. Normal summon Nerval. Activate its effect. Yep. One, two, three, four. Shurig. Activate Shurig to banish... Yep. For the wind, uh... I'll, I'll pass turn. Whatever. I don't want to keep thinking. Draw. Normal Falco. Sure. Activate Schism. Wind. Battle phase. Um, I'm gonna activate Tri Brigade Oath. Negate the activation. Sure. Construct into Shurig. Uh, Storming Mirror Force? <laughs> <laughs> All three? Yeah. Hard Drew three Storming Mirror Forces. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> My turn? Yep. Draw. I'm gonna normal summon Cobalt Sparrow, uh, Princess Sprite. Mm hmm. Effect. It is a barrier Still statue. <laughs> Dang god. Enter battle. I'm dead. Yeah, game. Uh, I'm starting. Sure. Activate life to home. Kill skill. Kiss a kill. Kill skill. 
Kiss a kill. Kiss a kill effect. Uh, tribute two then. <laughs> sure. Forty four hundred beat stick. Sure. Your turn. Draw for turn. Special summon Jester Confit. Normal summon King Cubio. Recital Starling. Activate its effect. Ash. Sure. Is that one? Pass turn, actually. Draw. Should all fusion. Is that one? Yep. Pass. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> storming? Not playing this game? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it's storming, but I will say it's something that would have fucked you yep. over. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Activate Recital Starling. Attach for cost. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Sapphire Swallow. I'm gonna activate Dogmaticism on Recital Starling. I'll pass. Okay, draw. Enter battle. Winda into Recital Starling. That is fine. We both take 16. Active Dogmaticism. Yep. Rugal. Evil Twin into your life points. I activate Fuse Line. We pop the Evil Twins. I care mildly. Judgment. You judgment? Yep. You really judgment? Okay. So I take uh, 44. Yep. Activate Bahama. Oh, fuck. Burn you for 44. Game. <laughs> Why'd you have... <laughs> Game one is pretty uninteresting. We don't really have anything, so we pass turn. On our opponent's turn, he sets two and passes as well, and we don't really have much, so we summon Hammer Kong and attempt to make Zeus. Hammer Kong gets taken by Crackdown and Bale Links makes Sunlight Wolf. We summon Mahama and Recital Starling, but it gets negated, so we're left to the whims of Borosaur Dragon destroying us. Game 2 we make Recital Starling and have 3 set, then pass turn. There isn't much in the way of options, so even with Sapphire Swallow we can't exactly pop off. Our opponent makes Bale Links and attempts to Utopia double us, but we bounce it with Storming Mirror Force. On our turn we make Farageed and attempt to use Nerval to summon, but our opponent uses a Lancia before we could even bring it out. We make Zeus and Barrier Statue and proceed to pass turn. Not much that anyone can really do against a board like that, so we take game 2. Game 3 we actually draw pretty well, but we're going second. Our opponent makes Bale Links and Sunlight Wolves, passing turn with 2 set. We summon Nerval, then use Where Arf Thou, which gets ashed. We use Sapphire Swallow and Nerval to make Recital Starling, which gets negated and banished. Then we use Nerval to banish 2 and bring out Farajit, which then specials out Keras. We use the Nerval and Farajit to make Samorg, then use Karas to bring out Hrez, which bounces back the Bale Links and Grave, removing all protection. With no other playable cards, we attack in and take game 3. Penis, more like peen sauce. Wow, this is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what you're playing. I'm gonna normal summon Barrier Statue. Ah, oh, okay. A past turn. <laughs> okay. Draw. Lightning Storm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ferris effect, discard increase. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Ferris on summon effect. Uh, I really don't know how to play heroes, so let's see if I can remember the line I want to do. I uh, hope so you don't. Increase effect, pop uh, Ferris, summon itself, and on summon effect, summon one from deck. Vian effect, on summon, send a hero to the grave. Send Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist effect. Add a hero to hand. Honest Neos. Okay. Vion. Banish Shadow Mist. Add Polly. Link 2. Okay. <laughs> uh, reveal. Veal. Flame Wing Man. What? Yeah. Add Avion Burst and Tricks to hand. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Then Polly. These what? two and two. Okay. Into sunrise. Sunrise effect on summon. Get what's it called? Miracle fusion. Miracle fusion. Banish Avion Burstinatrix. Summon. <laughs> and are are you ready for this? Elemental hero Phoenix Enforcer. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, and they're all boosted by. 600 because of sunrise okay and battle phase all right so game two yep well not the uh, this you... is 
Oh, oh no. Mm, I mean, it's playable. Let's set. Pass. I'm really sorry about this. Duster? That's actually fine. Uh, oh. Call fusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I specifically thought to myself as long Storming? as... Uh, it's a sealed only deck. It's episode oh, right. two. <laughs> right, I forgot, I forgot. Normal summon liquid soldier. Soldier effects summon Vion from hand. Vion effect send... Ugh. I'm just going to send Mally. Ooh. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> the lonely... You know, the one good card. hero card. Punch. With soldier. Sure. <laughs> and then pun for 1k. Sure. Pass. Draw. <clears throat> Normal summon King Cub Yo. Uh. Okay. Effect. Oh, wait, no, that's not okay. Oh, no. DD Crow. <laughs> oh, no. Overlay. You're gonna go into Moo Beta. Oh. <laughs> Moo Beta, jeez. No. <laughs> okay. Is Moo Beta generic or is it like. Does it have to be Dry Trons? I forget. That's a good question that I can't answer off the top of my head. <laughs> I will detach one to search. Okay. <laughs> Sapphire Swallow. Okay. Um, effect of Sapphire Swallow, special summon itself, and Nerval. Okay. I will link to into Ergy. Activate Nerval. Charig. Activate Charig's effect to banish Solid Soldier. Oh, uh, not my Solid Soldier. He was a solid guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, activate... I'm not activating anything. Link. Can Tri Brigade OTK? Yes. Hypothetically. I'm not good enough to OTK, but they yeah. definitely can. Can a sealed only Tri Brigade OTK? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> uh, chain link one, Barajee. Chain link two, Nerval. Mm -hmm. Search, Keras, and then draw one and put one to the bottom of the deck. That's oh. the bottom. <laughs> uh, activate Keras. Yep. Discarding Kinkapio. I'm just realizing you pulled Keras. Yep. <laughs> I pulled two Zeus's before I pulled a Keras. <laughs> Wait, you got a second Zeus? <laughs> activate <laughs> activate Karis, banish three. Yeah. Race of Velger. What? Its attack is doubled while you have no monsters in the graveyard. And I could shuffle back one card in your graveyard per turn. And we'll activate its effect to shuffle back your malicious. Enter the phase so, of battles. So it can OTK. It can. <laughs> this is a sealed only deck, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That's lethal, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to side against your deck. Okay, so I need to be able to do something during your turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, E. E. <laughs> Stratos. Sure. Summon Stratos effect. Ferris. Ferris pitch. Increase. Ferris effect. Equip increase. This is why I run two increase, because I always draw it. <laughs> Interesting. You need it in the deck. That's why my friend runs two double or nothings. Increase effect, pop, summon, and then on summon, summon Vion. Uh, Vion effect, um, send. I think I messed up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Big number, punch hard. I don't know how to go first. Send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effect. Honest Neos. Why is my neighbor screaming? <laughs> Uh, they're getting good. Oh boy. <laughs> Not sure if I could keep that part in the video. <laughs> Do a coward. Extra hero. And then effect. Reveal Plasma Vice, Blade Edge, and Sparkman. And then set a card. Pass. That set card is very scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's the scariest thing about this. Oh wait, I almost have Connect 4. Let's, let's connect 4. Just through Confit. Ooh. Activate Tri Brigade Standoff. Activate. Yep. Discarding Mahama. Add Nerval to my hand. A normal summon Nerval. Recital Starling. I will detach Nerval to search. I'll add Cobalt Sparrow. Okay. Activate Sapphire Swallow. Special. Special. Okay. 
activate the effect of Cobalt Sparrow. I need to read something real quick. While Demo's reading, I want to say hi to the audience. Uh, I, I don't have anything reading. else to say. Yeah. <laughs> I already finished reading. I didn't get to have my talk. What, what the birds and the bees? <laughs> Let's link some more. Okay. Special summon Ashion. Okay. Uh, move to battle phase. I'll attack into Infernal Divisor. Damage calc? Really? Yeah. Uh, send Spark and Blade. Main two. Mm hmm. Set one. Pass turn. Draw. Stand by main. Yep. Vion. Sure. Vion effect on summon. Send Mally. Vion second effect. Banish. Increase. Add Poly. Vion and Stratos into Sunrise. Sunrise, add Miracle Fusion. Activate Miracle Fusion, summon... What the hell is happening? <laughs> summon Plasma Vice, Battle Face. Yep. Attack Declaration, Sunrise Effect. Pop the back row. Okay, I will chain Fuse Line to pop Infernal Divisor. Damage Calc. Sure. Honest Neos. Oh my god, you could've... <laughs> you could've otk with Flame Wingman in 2021. Uh... Uh, pass. Raw. Mm -hmm. Normal summon Nerval. Very cheap. Okay. Activate standoff. Uh, yep. Send Dotscaper, my hand Karas. Yep. Dotscaper, then effective Fairy Jeet. Yep. Special out Karas. Mm hmm. Effective Karas. I'll banish three. <laughs> yeah. Or Rugal. Let's go into Shrig, and then activate its effect to banish... Have to banish Sunrise. <sighs> Enter the phase for battling. Attack into Plasma Vice. I will pass turn. This is where you put in the epic music, because I'm about to top deck Skyscraper. If you top deck Skyscraper, I'm gonna like lose Don't my run shit. Skyscraper, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle Fusion. Summon the Shining. Yeah, I think that's lethal. It could be. If you manage to attack. Oh, end of main phase. Oh, uh, Nibiru? Uh, <laughs> no cards in there. Rugal effect? Uh, what does it do? Special summon a level 4 or lower beast, beast warrior, wing beast from my hand or graveyard, but negate its effects, oh. and then return it to the hand at the end. Okay. Uh, special summon Nerval. Okay. Uh, effect of Shrag, banish the Shining. Ghost over. Let's see what you could do. If you can come back with one card in hand, I will forfeit all mortal possessions to you. Wait, you're, you're- I'm in your will, right? Not necessarily. We do YouTube together. I'm, I'm basically <laughs> closer than your family. <laughs> Draw. Normal summon Kin Cubio. Activate okay. its effect. Yep. Special summon Jester Confit. Effective Nerval. Yep. Please oh, tell no. me I can make 600 damage right now. Just Don't be a- uh... Rugal. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright. Time to 2d6. 9. Be my 5. Oh. I will start. Set uh -oh. one card. Spooky. Set two cards. And pass turn. Oh boy, I bricked. I will activate Zombie Wolf. I will normal summon Gwolf Bloom. Sure. Link one. Link Karibo Gwolf Bloom effect. I will set one. Set two. Battle phase. Bale. Yep, I'll take 28. Yep. Raw for turn. Yep. This is so dog poopy. Normal summon Zodiac Cataroost. Zodiac Hammer Kong. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Equip it with Dogmaticism. Enter battle. Uh, uh, Super Folly. Interesting. Actually, I'll put them here. Okay, game's yours. <laughs> Call me when you want. <laughs> I will will start. you be going first or second? I will start. Special My Jester Confit. Jester Confit is fine. Normal King Cubio. King Cubio. Yeah, that's fine. Recital Starling. Add Cobalt Sparrow. Okay. Special another Jester Confit. <laughs> yeah, this is not like a playable hand, honestly. See Momento! I don't think I can do anything. I guess I'll just pass turn. With a just no, a attack position. Stand by me. 
Normal summon a unit zombie. Yep. Activate effect from hand. Yep. Send Banshee. I will activate effect to send from deck. Boom, chain link one. Uh, uh Banshee chain link two. Uh, the battle phase. Sure. Zombie over Confi. I take 13. And Bale over Starling. Link two. Vampire Sucker. Pass turn. Draw standby phase. How did I draw three of the same card? Uh, standby phase, Bale. Trigger off Sucker to draw one. Normal summon King Kobyo. Yep. Activate. Bale negate. I think that's a straight up game. I drew a playset of fucking Jester Confit and a playset of King Kavyo. We may have just gone down the best possible timeline. We didn't brick for two matches in a row just to immediately lose the episode this time and actually got a few wins. I did not expect winning and much less expected to actually win four matches in a row and also OTK and lock our opponents out of playing multiple times. With the pulls we got today, we've got a lot of money to make. We also won an extra $8 from our 4 wins, so our opening next episode is going to be pretty big. Going to give the warning that although the last few episodes came out within a week of each other, the next one will probably be two. Especially since apparently these videos are all going to be like half an hour or longer now. So yeah, they take a bit longer than before to edit. I think the deck honestly has a lot of lines of play, and I'm glad that I decided to go towards the path of Bird Up. The deck pops off like hell with the slightest bit of consistency, but the issue right now is that we actually have none of that. Right now, our goal is to just hope that we have multiple level 1 starters at extenders in hand so we can make Recital Starling and Fair G to end with Barrier Statue. We need to fill out our extra deck with more Tri Brigades and Lyra Loose cards, and we have pretty much one of each card except for 2 Cobalt Sparrows and 3 Narvals. Also 0 Fractals. To even call this bird up right now is just kind of being generous. Eventually, we need to start pushing into Blazing Vortex as well, maybe mixing it with Phantom Rage. The goal is to get Kid and Rendezvous, two cards that'll give our barrier statue a lot more opportunities to be ban-worthy. <laughs> maybe we'll use our huge budget this episode to just open a bunch of Phantom Rage and Maximum Crisis at once in order to round out our bird up lineup, and whatever we're missing we'll just open in tandem with Blazing Vortex to try for a kit. While making this video, there's also a few new Lyraloose cards that got announced, and while that sounds pretty bomb, a lot of them are meant to be played pure and restrict you into either just XEs, or are meant to only be played with Lear Loose cards, so I'm probably going to avoid most of them. The new XEs that infinitely bounces though is cool as hell and I kinda want it, but it doesn't really matter though since those are all coming out much later this year. The last set that I'm thinking about is Hidden Arsenal 2. This might sound like a joke, but since the set is overall not that good and on the cheap side, it makes sense to go into it once we fill out the rest of the deck to get Apex Avion, just to have an extra Omni Negate. I stand by the fact that Barrier Statue is kind of a degenerate card that needs to be banned, and we need more options just in case. There's one other kind of sad thing that I gotta bring up. As you guys know, there's been a lot of issues with USPS across the board, and I'd say that maybe 10-20% to of the stuff that I've mailed out or shipped has either gotten delayed or just lost. Because of that, I'm probably gonna be selling the Zeus locally, at least until the issues with my local mail just finally calms down. If Zeus got lost, I would still want the funds to be used for the series, and paying an extra $55 or more, you know, depending on the value of the Zeus when this video goes up, just hits the, pff, the wallet a little bit too hard. The Virtual World Lulu and Phantom Knights cards will be up for sale in the Discord server later today though, and I'll probably announce the winners in the server. I don't mind those because if they do get lost, I can just cover the $10 or whatever out of pocket, and it's not a huge hit. Anyway, if I calculate it correctly, we can sell all the extra stuff and get about $126 for the next episode. We are already popping off hard as hell, and with a budget that huge, I'm running out of cards stored in my closet to open. Thanks for watching everyone and supporting the series. This is Demo. Make sure to use my TCG player link, my Patreon, subscribe, I don't know, whatever you want to do to support the channel. I am a total shill now. Question for this episode. What other options have you guys been thinking might seem good for the deck? Of course, a card like Rescue Cat would be huge, but considering that's only ever been printed in very limited or old sets, means that we just straight up won't be able to get it for the series. I mean, we can, but I'd rather avoid spending $90 on a Duelist Saga box, or, you know, $40 per pack of Flaming Eternity, especially since we need three copies of it. Kinka Byo is a better budget alternative anyway. Any other ideas though? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Demo, and all I can say is have a great day and or night, and goodbye!